Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to what might be the final episode of Satisfactory 1.0. In the last episode, we were working on all the Phase 5 parts, kind of all the parts we need for the parts, and since then I've finished the Assembly Director Systems, which are the last thing needed for these biochemical sculptors. I got water hooked up from the main bus, and we have two containerfuls of Trigons, which should be just about right. If I need a few more, I can go grab them. And then all else I got to do is throw the assembly director systems in here. We are fully slooped up with these blenders, and these each make 10 per minute, which totals out to 20 per minute. So we will need 50 minutes of this. I may add a couple more at some point if we have some free uh, sloops, but I don't have free sloops right now. Sloops are all in use. I have three accelerators running. I removed the fourth accelerator because, um, here we can zoom in forever. Wow, you really can zoom in forever. Whoa, field of view. Um, we didn't have enough to run all four accelerators. And why is that one not running? Oh, it is running, okay. It just doesn't light up all the rings the whole time. Uh, yeah, but we have enough powder to run three. So those three are running. Those are also gonna take about 50 minutes. Or what did we? I don't remember what we mathed it out to be. And yeah, so these guys are uh, getting done. These are making. I only have enough sloops for one. That's why only one's running. The modular engines and the modular engines go into the. What are we doing this for? The thermal propulsion rockets and those go in the ballistic sports drives. So then we are going to need to make singularity cells and we're going to need to make the quantum computers. Yeah, zoom is really weird. Uh, the issue is that the little controller hands just don't disappear in photo mode. That's that's the main issue. Photo mode should remove being able to see yourself. Um, so yeah, that's my my short head talk. Uh, anyway, uh, let's make the quantum neural quantum processors to make the AI expansion servers. So I need 128 of those, which is going to be pretty easy to just hand feed a quantum encoder right over here. Um, I am going to need... Time crystals rather than dark matter crystals. So we'll just hook over the excited photonic matter. And hand feed everything else, I guess. Okay, so then we said 128, right? Um, 128 at seven and a half per minute. That's nice and short. So that means 64 supercomputers done. Um, Trigons. I guess we're going to need to feed a couple things with uh, storage containers here. We need whatever 64 times 15 is. Uh, that's like 30 times 30, about a thousand trigons. Uh, battery 6,000 megawatts. Package rocket fuel 7,200 megawatts. Speed the same 37 meters a second. 37 meters a second. What? Oh, do your drones fly at a different speed based on what the fuel is? I actually didn't know that. I think a thousand trigons is enough, but let's do 1,200 just in case it's not. And then back over here, throw the trigons in, and then what was the last thing? Time crystals, I need about 300. So there we go. No, I need to sloop this. Actually, do I? don't even care that much. These are all relatively cheap things, so I don't even really need to sleep this one. Uh, I just need to connect up the, the dark matter so it gets recycled into dark crystals. 
Speaking of which, I'm actually curious how many coupons I've built up now that... <clears throat> now that I'm recycling dark crystals. Just excuse me while I choke to death over here. <clears throat> Okay, so that should do it. I will have to hand feed <clears throat> a couple more supercomputers. Everything else should be good. Alright, let's uh, look at the awesome shop here. Only 18. Yeah, they're not worth that many points, and I'm not sinking, like, an absurd amount. But it's free. Free real estate, <clears throat> as it were. this idle? Oh, I don't have enough photonic matter? Now that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Us. Uh. Alright, put that up, put that up. Ooh, that noodle. That just looks so, so bad. Not a fan of that noodle, actually. Like, noodle looks like if you wanted to do a water slide. Is what it looks like. You know, if you were in a water park, that's what noodle's for. Oh yeah, it looks like our dark matter residue isn't getting recycled fast enough either. I don't think there's much I can do about that at this point. Because I want to say these are both fully overclocked. I guess for now I could turn off the production I have of dark matter residue, but then I'm just going to mess something up. I'm going to forget about it, so we'll just leave it. It's not going to... I could just, you know, do the thing. Whoops. <laughs> I do, and I even have a fluid buffer in here too, so that should help a little bit. Oops, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. So I think the problem is these are running at full speed. How many superposition oscillators do I need? Because I probably don't need this many. Let's feed some into the awesome sink for fun. For fun and profit. Alright, so I'm at 18 coupons. What if I throw 100 of these? Whoa! <laughs> Just immediate 20 coupons. Nice. And that's 18 million. So we got... Those are probably closing in on a million apiece. <laughs> the space belt does have a fatal flaw when stuff clips from underneath. It looks really bad. You're not wrong about that. Like that. That's pretty... pretty heinous. Uh, yeah, but we're fine. We're 22 are already done. Okay, let's see. If we're done with the modular engines, I'm gonna grab the other two sloops. Oh, I actually did run out of rubber. That's unfortunate. I guess it all went. No, I just didn't have enough. Okay, so we've got a few more craftings here, and then we'll switch this over, and we're getting pretty close, then, to all the things we need. Sculptors are going strong. Power, we are using a lot of that power to run those slooped particle accelerators to make the nuclear pasta. Is pretty nuts. Yeah, these should be good. Making those biochemical sculptors. 
and I had some extra of the uh, propulsion or assembly director system, so we should be okay on the amount of those. That shouldn't be a problem. And then let's go check on the pasta. That's the easiest way to get over there. Probably here. Whee! You know, let's see if we can do some high quality flying here. Nice. All right, so pasta is... Good, everything seems to be functioning. And we've got, ooh, four, five, six hundred and seventy-six. Two-thirds of the way there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And these are using an average of what is that, like 15 megawatts or something? 13, 13, or th 13 gigawatts a piece. All right, each of these needs two nuclear reactors that's overclocked by itself. So that's where a lot of my power is going. Literally half of my nuclear plant is powering those. But uh, yeah, we are keep thinking. Now here's a problem that I just realized with space belts. You can't tell which way they're going. They don't even have little arrows to indicate on the side. There's a slight, like, if, you, if you're not moving, you can see that the glow is kind of going in a direction. But when you're moving around, it's actually really hard to see that. So, oof, almost hit my toes there. So that's one thing I think they could improve on the Mark VI belt is directionality. That's actually really hard to see. Obviously, in a lot of cases, you know which way your belts are going, but like, it would be a nice touch. All the other belts have it. So, whoa, another weird bounce. All right, are we done here? We're done here. So, uh, let's see, now we need the propulsion rockets. And I need how many? Only 100? Okay. Wait, I never used the framework for anything. I feel like I've forgotten an item. No, I guess we need that for the AI. Whatever we need for the AI servers, I think. So, modular engines. Are these both slooped? No, this one's not slooped. You can only sloop so many things, Captain. <laughs> it's not a belt, you say. Hmm. Interesting that they call it Conveyor Belt Mark VI right here. If it's not a belt, I think calling it a belt is perfectly reasonable. Even if Ada has some flavorful comments about how it's different. I think calling it a belt is the best thing to call it. Alright, how are we doing on the quantums? Almost halfway there. We only need 128. So that'll keep going. Alright, I might pause the recording here because we're just waiting for a few minutes. I guess we do have... I guess we should at least get this one running on... Uh... TPRs. So that is going to be the modular engines. It's going to be turbo motors. I think we said we needed 64 of those. Oh, crap. I just put those in the wrong spot. There we go. And then cooling system was like 150 and then fused frame. frame cooling system okay I'm just going overkill on all those because there's really no reason not to all right and then that should yep there we go thermal propulsion rockets are going and that'll get us our ballistic warp drives 
And at five a minute, I do only need 20 minutes, even though this one's running by itself. So that is more than enough. Sweet. Okay, yeah, I'm going to pause the recording while stuff runs for a few minutes, and we'll be back here in a sec. All right, and welcome back, future YouTubians. We did a little bit more exploring and found three more summer sloops, which helps a little bit with the <laughs> process we're doing. And I've now started the magnetic field generators, which are used in the AI servers, I want to say. The biochemical sculptors are going strong here. We've got... 800 so those are almost done actually and then over here we are done with the quantum doodads what are they called neural quantum processors someday those words will stick in my brain uh not today uh and then yeah so now we just need to feed the magnetic field generators the nqps and the superposition oscillators into here I guess we'll need a third storage container. But I have to wait for the magnetic doodads to be done. And then let's go check on the pasta. The pasta is probably getting real close to being done. I think it's just about cooked. It's just about cooked. Let us go find out. Woo! Let's see the, the level of, is it al dente? What do we got? We've got... Ooh, looking good. So that's 800. Wait, no. One, two, three. Yeah, that's 876. So we just need like 150 more. The question I actually have is, am I out of pressure conversion cubes? And I almost am. So what I'm going to have to do is take the ones on the end and feed them back into guy because of the way the distribution worked there. Manifold haters having a heyday with what I just had to do. Um, so yeah, that should be plenty more pasta because each cube gets me two. And I have almost 150 cubes. So yeah, we're going to have more than enough pasta. Sweet. And I am gonna need, I'm gonna put 100 in my inventory because we need a little bit of the pasta for the, is it the ballistic warp drives? I can't remember. Or something. Wanna, yeah, it has to be the warp drives because I've literally done the other two already without any pasta. So are the warp drives done in a manufacturer or a blender? Not really sure. Oh, are we done with the thermal propulsion rockets? We have 116. I think that's done, right? Because we only needed 100. Yeah, it is made in the manufacturing. So, also I need 4,000 dark matter crystals. How did I miss that? It's not that many, but the problem is I don't think I'm stocking them up anymore. So, yeah, we've shredded all of them instead of storing them. Oh, that's facing the wrong way. I did, well, I flushed the dark matter residue, but that's not even the problem. The problem is I've been flushing the crystals. Um, we've got plenty of DMR. I believe. But yeah, we'll just let the dark matter crystals fill up. It should go fast enough. I mean, I'm making 150 a minute, so yeah, that's not that's not going to take very long. And heck, I can even sloop those once I get the sloops back from this process. Because here we've got... I don't know why the, the 8 thing always messes with me, uh, but we're almost at 800. So, 80% of the way done with the biochemicals. And... Magnetic drives are almost done. We needed... How many did we need? 
128. Is that that one? Yeah. Or a few more, obviously. And then here, thermal propulsion rockets. We said we were done, I think. Yeah, I have 116. So, that means... I can switch this over to the singularity cells now. And this is where we need the pasta. And I need how many? For 100 of those, 100 craftings, I need 500 singularity cells. Which means I need... 50 craftings, which really means I only need 25 craftings. So I only need 25 pasta. And I only need 25 times 200. I only need 500 dark matter crystals. Oh. Oh, the other dark matter crystals are for something else? Yeah, for the ballistics drive itself. Okay, sorry, I need it in both steps. Um, yeah, because I was like, wait a second, I barely need any crystals for this. And then iron plates, I need... I said 25, so 2,500 iron plates and 5,000 concrete. Oh, okay. Those are, those are reasonably large numbers. Let me go get those from over here. Do -do -do -do. We said 5,000 concrete, which is 10 stacks. And about 12 stacks of iron. 12 and a half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And a bonus. And then iron plates... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, that should do it. That should do it. Let's have a nice little launch here. Okay, I gotta say, movement is very satisfying in this game. And then concrete, iron... And what was the other thing I needed? I already put the pasta in there. Oh, I forgot. Dark matter crystals. Right, right, right. I need to go get those. The old dark matter. Dork. Dork matter. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that's time crystals. Okay, I was like, I do have a thing of dark matter crystals. No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, bummer. I may need to sloop this, actually. I may need to sloop this. We're not getting enough dark matter residue, probably because these are not producing at full speed anymore. Yeah, I finally ran out of crystal oscillators. I knew that today was going to come. Try for alt recipe. Oh, there's an idea. Uh, it might be too late to care, but what I can do for now at least is to re-ramp this up again. Get some more dark matter. Um, what's the... What's the alt? That one? Is that the one? <laughs> um... No, that I, yeah, it, that actually takes twice the amount of dark matter, but it saves you on the diamonds. That's funny. All right, well, those are not it. This one has a reroll. Nope. All right, surely I have a decent shot of getting it with all the recipes I have unselected. But, uh, yeah, once the blenders are done over here, I will sloop up my my crystal making and then we'll be getting a decent amount these are almost there and these guys are almost done too okay just a couple more minutes on all that sweet what's in here nothing did I not put concrete in there oh I did but the items are all jacked up
Yeah, red faction. Yeah, with, so with red faction, I, I actually, my first exposure was gorilla, and I know a lot of people complain because it wasn't about terrain deformation, it was about buildings. But at the same time, I actually thought red faction gorilla was awesome with the building destruction. Super fun. It's just really satisfying to smash a building to pieces. And you get better and better ways to do it as you progress through the game, and it was just really satisfying. So I don't know. I liked it. Alright, 177 is still not enough, but it'll get it running. It'll get it running. I also need a little bit more ionized fuel here. And we're almost at 900? Okay. We'll put the crystals in here. There we go. And this is making 50 a minute. I said I needed 500. That's only 10 minutes worth. Yeah. Yeah, so that's only 10 minutes of production there. So I need 500 dark matter crystals then. Yeah, Volition it was responsible for one of my favorite games of all time, which is Descent Free Space. Descent Free Space is one of my first loves in the gaming world. It's so good. I think I still need more dark matter. Yeah, we are we are short on dark matter here. Let's get the other one going. At some point I'm gonna run out of Sam here. I don't think I have the reanimated Sam for running two of these, but we'll at least use up our buffer. Might as well. And then this guy... Still needs all the items, right. Um, so you've got your quantum doodads, we've got our superposition doodads, of which... 200 is more than enough, and then that'll be the magnetic doodads. And we're almost to the point where these are done. <gasps> we are! Oh, I ran out of trigons? Ah, balderdash. Thought I had enough. Right, that should be done. Okay, so we still have 10 more craftings here and 14 more there, but I don't think I need that many. I don't really need to overshoot this. I've already got 900. Okay. But yeah, I don't know why I mathed so wrong on the trigons. I guess I grabbed two containerfuls when I needed... So this is only 4,800? Or no, 2,400? No, this is 4,800 instead of 5,000, but that's only one stack. I thought I even grabbed an extra stack or two to compensate, but clearly I did something wrong with the math. Or maybe I just have a bunch of, well, no, because I was 100 of these short, so who knows? Who knows? And then, how are we doing with dark matter crystals? I guess I could stop. I don't need to be spinning dark matter crystals on these things anymore, so I'm going to pause all this. Because that's just wasting dark matter crystals. So now we're just producing dark matter straight from Sam. Add diamonds. Might as well put one sloop in there. We'll get an extra crystal from time to time. Cool. All right, there we go. Aren't they net positive slooped? Uh, something is. There's some, there's some dark matter recipes that are net positive already, like the power shard one, I think, and the. Uh, 
yeah, the power shard one is net positive because you use 10 and you make 12. And then the superposition is net negative because you use 30 and you make 25. Neural quantum is very net positive because you use none to make 25. Uh, let's see, expansion servers use 30 to make 25, so that uses 5. Then you make 25. I don't know, I can't math it all out in my head doesn't even matter at this point because I'm not using those recipes um, but yeah we need a few more shards in here singularity cells so these are the things that run the portals as well I do think they should make it so that the portals don't consume those constantly now, I haven't made it myself, but someone was saying in the comments, when you make the portal, it consumes those constantly while the portal's open. And so I feel like they should make it so that the portal only opens when the player is nearby or something. So at least that way, you're not just constantly burning these expensive items for a portal that's not being used 99.9% .9 of gameplay. Um, it feels like instead, it should be like a charge-based system where the portal charges up with 50 of them or 100 of them and then is open and it doesn't spend its charge until you walk through and then it has to grab items again. That feels like the system I would have expected with, with portals that consume items. And I'd even be fine if it consumed power constantly, but it didn't consume the items constantly. That, that just feels like kind of a slap to the face. And as other people have mentioned, you basically just want to do a priority power switch then, and so you just don't switch it on until you're nearby. So, that's the strat. I guess. Alright, are these done? You guys finally, finally happy? Almost! Just about 30 more. And the magnetic. We have 152, which is plenty. I take you back, take back to sloops, and then we can now go sloop our quantum encoder over here. Perfect. And this is only going to have to run for 12 minutes to get all that we need. Wow, look at that power usage <laughs> up to the averaging at like 13 or so. Sweet. All right, so that's going. I think I'll pause the recording again because we've got a little bit more waiting here. We got to wait for some time crystal or dark crystals to to build up for our warp drive crafting. I'll be back here in a minute. All right, future YouTubians, we're back. We're getting the ballistics warp drives going now. I did get the alternate for dark matter crystals with one of the MAM researches. So you can see it right there. It's called dark matter trap. And it essentially just replaces the diamonds with time crystals, but then gives you twice as many at twice the rate. Um, so I just grabbed all the time crystals we had in a storage container and I'm feeding my particle accelerators with those. So now we're getting plenty of dark matter crystals and I need to feed them into here. And then we need to feed the thermal propulsion systems, which are in a crate somewhere. Might be this one. No. Wait, where are they? Hello? Where did I, oh, are they in the top of this? Aha, there they are. All right, so thermal propulsion, dark matter doodads, the other dark matter doodads, what are these called? Singularity cells. And finally, the superposition oscillators of which I only need 200 and change. 
Some say he's still hand feeding to this day. Hey, we're almost there. We're actually legit almost there. No jokes. Imagine like actually automating all of these recipes. Imagine, imagine automating things in an automation game. Come on now. Um, what's, oh, all the items are still the old, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to do some lift cycling here. Still rubber. Still rubber. Still rubber. What? What is going on here? How much rubber is on this belt? Still rubber. And there we go. Alright. Turbo. 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 Correct. Used frame. Used frame. Half and half. Finally, cooling systems, cooling systems, and all correct. Okay. Sweet. And then I need to feed back my extra propulsion system. And extras of these, extras of these. Go check on our AI servers. We we have the thousand of the the biochemical sculptors now, so that's done. You can't do everything at the same time, B Jonas. Uh, hold my beer says a lot of people. A lot of people certainly try to do all of it at the same time. Not a lot per minute of all of it at the same time, though some people go for that too. You know, use the whole map's resources sort of thing, but. All right, so these are almost done. We've got 236 out of 256. And let's go grab more of our dark matter crystals. So you can see we're feeding the time crystals right here um, instead of using this belt of diamonds, which is getting us from the one that slooped, we're getting 300 a minute dark matter crystals. That's absurd. And I needed 4,000 total. And I think we're, if we're not there with this haul, we are almost there. So yeah, I'm going to fill these up, and then I'll probably just pause. Well, we'll go check on pasta first, and then we'll pause. Um, yeah, that's more than 4,000 right there. Because that's... I guess it's technically not more, but these are already fully stacked, so with two more stacks it is. Sweet! Okay, so the warp drives are going to be done then. Without any more feeding. Sir ah, the servers are almost done without any more feeding. And the pasta, I'm going to say, I bet it's done. I bet the pasta is nice and al dente, and it's done. I bet you are done. Let's see. Not this one. 800, 960, ah, 40 pasta. Wait, no, 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 I have, I have pasta in my inventory. We are done. There's a thousand, thousand and thirty-four. Ha-ha, we are pasta-rific. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. That is all the pasta, I'll just let it keep going. I'll get some extra pasta. Beautiful, and now we're gonna put it in the space elevator. We're gonna watch. We're gonna watch the pasta. Let's see, we've got a container here. And watch the pasta flow. Bloop. You know, if you move with it, you, it almost feels like you can see it, rather than it being a blur. <laughs> That's so crazy. Awesome. There it goes. 
All the pasta we could ever need. Oh yeah, that's the one I took a screenshot of. I should probably do that with the warp drives for this episode. Okay, I am going to pause uh, for a minute, the recording, because we're going to have to let things idle for eh, another 10 minutes, probably. So we'll be back here in a sec. All right, welcome back. This is uh, how we're passing the time, future YouTubians. So I built a little circle out of belts, and lo and behold, that doesn't work, because you get pushed a little bit to the side when you go around a corner. But a figure eight turns left the same amount that it turns right. So... This way we can have a nice little, little boombox party as we watch these manufacturers make the final ballistics warp drives to win the game. What are they at, actually? They are at 94. So that means there's 10 minutes left by my calculations. Yeah, so okay, why don't we why don't we think about like final thoughts here? What are, what are my final thoughts on this game? This game is amazing. Also, I think the music's maybe a little too loud. I can't tell. I do love the music though. What are the what are the other music options too? Golf cart? Yeah, we gotta listen to that one. Also, we could make a golf cart. I haven't made one of those yet. Hold on. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Wait, where is it? It's not with the other vehicles. Uh, is it in special? No. Wait, where is the stupid thing? Yeah, it's in the awesome shop, but I thought I... Oh, you don't buy the... You don't buy the blueprint for it, you actually buy the thing itself. Ah, I get it. Well, I think I already bought one. Yeah, I already bought it. So, did I put it back home then, maybe? Well, let's find out. But uh, yeah, so final thoughts on this game is basically like, it's absolutely incredible. I, I've had plenty of little complaints for sure, but that's just, I like to be constructively critical of games. I think it's good for the good for the gaming world to have people think of what could be better, but at the same time, like this game has been absolutely incredible. There's not much that I would change about the gameplay itself. I don't have the cart. What is the stupid thing? Just in my inventory, like hiding. Did I put it in the depot? No. Is it just down here waiting for me? No. Can you build another? Wait, no, it does say cost to build. So that implies you do build it. Oh, it's in the equipment workshop. Okay, that, that's where I've seen it. There we go. But yeah, as far as like game balance, I think it's good. I think the game is maybe a little, like the, the phases for the space elevator are a little easy because of sloops. It does make hand feeding, I think a little too strong. Um, at least for more power users. I think if I were to play again, I would get a mod that would either Disable sloops, maybe increase the space elevator requirements by a bit. Even if they were just like multiplied by five, I think even that would be enough to where you're like, oh yeah, I really gotta automate this and like go do other things for a while. Whereas the way that it is right now, this is just the superior strategy if you are optimizing for human time. If you're optimizing for fun or coolness of factory, this might not be the best way to do it. But you know, if your goal is to, like, just beat the thing, then this is definitely a better strategy. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Tier 9 stuff has been really cool. You're right, the music is so loud. Can you change the music in the menu? Oh, you can. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, it was really loud for me too, don't worry. You probably could hear it through my mic. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I just, I think the, the final balance of the game is gonna feel a little bit different for everybody. And there's so many different ways to build your factory, right? There are certain items that some people are gonna have a really hard time automating. Like diamonds may feel really expensive to people if they're trying to bring in coal for it. But as soon as I went over here and made a 240 diamond a minute factory for drones, all of a sudden diamonds felt free, right? And it depend like depending on how you do those sorts of things, different things will feel cheap or expensive. Power might be a struggle for certain people, but if you go and make a 75 gigawatt nuclear power plant, you kind of can just not care and even sloop and shard three part four particle accelerators making nuclear pasta, you know? So I do think the game's cool because it gives a lot of different options on how you play. Um, as far as the bus, I think I've said this before, I wouldn't recommend it and I wouldn't do it again, but I'm glad I did it. It looks really cool. I was really pleased with how the bus actually turned out. Um, I think my factory ended up being kind of exactly what I wanted it to be. So that was fun. Um, definitely never made a proper rubber or plastic factory and never got punished for it. Uh, <laughs> this is all we ever had. And we never even did the like recycled rubber and plastic loop, which was totally on my plans. And we just never quite ended up needing it. So there you go. Um, I certainly, if I had automated some of the more expensive stuff at a higher rate, we would have needed more rubber. But yeah, like I really liked how this building turned out. The insides looked pretty cool. It just feels really full. And like I've said before, I think, I think too many straight lines actually looks a bit sterile. I like a mixture of a little bit of spaghetti mixed with all the straight lines. So like the blueprints provide these really nice, clean looking lines and lining up the, you know, the lifts. I just think that looks really neat. But then there's still kind of the spaghetti feeding it all from the bus. So I like how it turned out. I think the glass was cool. I didn't really have much more energy to keep building tons of aesthetic factoriness, mainly because it just is hard when you're doing this many tiles. So I probably needed to, to turn to aesthetic blueprints, like sections, you know, five by five sections of wall with windows in them, and then I just copy that along. That probably would have been the way to do it if I had wanted to really, you know, make the whole thing continue to look nice with walls and roofs and stuff. Um, yeah, and then we had to carry the bus over. But I, I was pretty pretty happy with this playthrough. I think, I think I did more than I normally do to care for, like, doing things the right way, quote unquote, the right way, as defined by me, of course. There is not a right way that applies to everybody. But there certainly is a way that like you internally feel like you want to build things. And I feel like I actually stayed pretty true to that goal. So I was pretty happy with my own performance, which is the only the only judgment I should care about is my own. So that feels good to kind of reach the end and be happy with how you did it. Oh, we're so close. Just 32 more. 32 more, we're almost there. Um, oh, I do need to feed, let's just feed two. I will have, I will have enough. Yeah, closed factories are difficult because of lighting. The glass helps with that and having lumen turned off helps with that. Lumen is certainly uh, something that makes building ceiling, basically factories with ceilings are gonna just be a lot harder to make look good because of the lighting. And I've, I've had my complaints about the lighting. Um, I personally would want mods that create lights that cover a much larger area if I was going to use Lumen. Uh, what am I doing? Awesome scene. All right, let's see. Oh, I just need any power, any power. I'm okay with flipping for this once. Um, all right, so I have 22 coupons and we're lacking about half a million points and right now what is it like 2 million per coupon roughly so one warp drive cut me to 24 coupons oh my so that means they're like 5 million a piece 
Is that right? Roughly? Wow. Yeah, something like that. That's epic. That is epic. So yeah, I'm guessing people will measure their factories either based on phase fives per minute, or they might measure it more in phase fives per hour, but like making things in the ratio of four, four. <sighs> this is hard, because like these ratios aren't, it would have been nice if it was 200. I understand why they did 256, because it's a power of two. You know, and that is a nice thing for computery things. But if you were, if your goal was to like basically make phase five over and over again into the awesome sinks, you'd have to probably just imagine that as 250, and then you divide everything by 50. So it'd be four, five, and then 20 and 20. So four per minute, five per minute, 20 per minute, 20 per minute. And like, how many of those can you make? Because that. That would be pretty insane to make that much pasta. Heck, what I just said right there, 4, 5, 20, and 20 is already like pushing it to crazy levels because 20 nuclear pasta a minute, that's a lot. But uh, yeah, what are we at? What are we at? Oh my gosh, four more? We're literally about to see the last warp drives that we need come up. There's two. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Here it is. The final warp drives. Take. And we're going to do it. This is it, y'all. This is it. This is not a drill. Ada is going to be very pleased with us. I do want a picture. Like I did here. Um, I want to put the warp drives on a belt and take a picture. And that will be our final thumbnail. So you future YouTubians already know that this is the thumbnail. Yeah, we're gonna... Nice little screenshot of these. They look a lot like bombs. I'm starting to have questions about Ada's grand plan here. Um, okay, so I already fed the pasta we needed. What happened to my hotbars here? I already fed the pasta, so... Oh, the pasta's still in the container. Alright, so then this one, we will feed the biochemical sculptors. This one, we will feed the AI expansion servers. As they enter in a blur. We can watch them count up in the top right. You can just shove them in. No, this is way cooler. Um, I did forget that, but this is way cooler. <laughs> All right. And the warp drives uh, come from here. Whee! Yes. Yes. Gosh. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Phase five. Cargo. Filled. Yes. Seal it. Kiss it. Give it a smooch. As it goes off to space. Oh yeah. Unsurprisingly, here's another presentation, but don't worry, I have improved it. This last delivery will be the most important action you have ever taken. Yeah. Perhaps you want to take a moment to contemplate the gravity of your achievements. Yay! I've never been more important. All right, that's enough. This is the end of the Save the Day program. They will All soon be saved. All you need to do is wait for the automated Phase 5 construction to complete. Okay. Simply throw the lever and further instructions will be supplied when relevant. I feel like there's about a 50% chance, obviously spoilers are incoming, that we save the day as claimed and about a 50% chance that we actually like end the world uh, somehow, either on purpose or on accident. All right, 
right, here we go. Have I made a safety save? No. Phase five completed. Return to the space elevator after the resources have been processed and added to project assembly. Launch can then be initiated from there. Okay. While waiting, please do not break anything. Solve any issues immediately and efficiently. Ensure your power network is stable. Perhaps it is best if you do not touch anything at all. And stay close to the space elevator. This will only take a moment. Okay. Is that it? Done building? I think. Check oil. <laughs> Wipe windows? Oh my god, this is amazing. Wait, what do we do? Check oil. Oh, this is so cool. Set fuel injection level to five. Done. Activate bus B1. I bet there's like secret codes, like if you enter different things, there's like some sort of crazy Easter egg. Is that right? Stabilizer to four. God, they make this game so satisfying. Gyroscopic balancer X on. Why? Z. Heat the seats? Oh, I didn't get to click heat seats. No! Oh, it won't let me now. All right, here we go. Contact assembly. Wait, where'd it go? It disappeared. Initiating oh, project assembly. Friendly. Assembly. Attaching cargo to main body. Okay. Take me with you. Do you stand on this? No. Leveling inner and outer rings. Attaching propulsion to main body. Mm hmm. I gave you a lot of propulsion units. Better have enough. Fuel lines connected. Attaching control center to main body. Do it. Running systems check. All systems online. Take me with Releasing you. propulsion cage. Okay. Releasing clamps. Running pre launch checks and calculating flight path. Locking in cargo. Wait, where's Launching the cargo? T minus I don't know. ten. I missed it. Nine. Eight. Yes. Yes. Seven. Yes. Six. Five. It just four, explodes horribly. Three, two, one. Lift off. Yes. serious now. I'm gonna warp 
warp drive out of here. Eight thousand times cooler than launching a rocket in Factorio. And now silence. Connection with QAR four three seven nucleus established and stable. Dispersion initiated, reinstancing master nucleus to QAR-436 Akicha, B1. Hello, this is Ada, your new local instance of Ada. On behalf of Ada, myself, and all of Fixit, I want to congratulate you on saving the day. Thank you, thank Every you. single kitten and puppy would thank you if they could. You have proven yourself to be a worthwhile and productive member of the human race, and have yeah. contributed something to this universe that will forever change it. Thanks to your achievements, the next generation of pioneers can now take to the stars and construct, automate, explore and exploit, alongside me. Additionally, you have been promoted to local production manager. Oh, I'm the manager. I'm Mr. Manager. Your duties to project assembly may be complete, but your duties to fix it remain. With your help, fix it continues to make the universe a better place. Stay efficient. Stay with fix it. Aww. We did it! Yay! Pioneer purpose concluded. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I mean, look, you can't... This is why you can't compare Factorio and Satisfactory, right? Like, the visual spectacle and the feel of the game is part of the experience. It's kind of yeah, to a lesser level, but it's kind of similar to like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Outer Wilds, you know, where like, it's not just an exploration game, right? It's like, there's so much to it that you're experiencing in the 3D world. And I feel like Satisfactory, while yes, it is a factory game, so much of it is about the movement and the visuals of the factory. And so, yeah, I just, I think comparing them is so different because Factorio is like a much more distilled factory game. It's about the essence of factory rather than. So there's new things in here. Is that what you guys are telling me? So all that to say, I just think Satisfactory does an amazing job doing what it's <sighs> employee of the planet. Yes, we're the best employee on the whole planet. Technically, I should have had that from the beginning. You are now the proud owner of the Employee of the Planet Cup, only available to Fixit pioneers who saved the day. This cup was created after extensive research produced a substance that has the appearance of gold without actually being gold. It is almost certainly non-toxic. Wasn't that just Caterium? Note, you have been automatically enrolled in the Not Gold Toxicity Testing Program. <laughs> Classic. The paint may be flammable. Please inform us if, when using this cup, you experience discomfort, poisoning, spontaneous combustion, or death. Thank you for your cooperation. Nice. Nice. Ugh. I really wish you could spill it, but you just can't, no matter how much you try. Get out, get out of the mug. Also drinking while looking down, that would be difficult. But uh, yeah. Yeah, all that to say, the game's great. Like, I, I think Factorio will probably always have my heart in ways that Satisfactory can't because, um, and I've talked about this a little bit with Minecraft, like, 
the way that you actually go about doing things is so fundamentally different with the two games and Factorio is far more about the factory whereas this game is far more about the experience of the factory and aesthetics are going to matter a lot more in a game like modded Minecraft or Satisfactory because you're actually traversing the factory. You're walking through it as part of your gameplay experience. And yeah, you're walking through your factory in Factorio, but it's just so different because it's that top down view. There's no 3D perspective. Um, not to say that Factorio doesn't look good. That's not what I'm trying to say. It looks very good for what it is, but it's just a very different experience. You can't go in a building in Factorio, whereas here you can go in a building, but that building only exists if you made it. And so it has a similar feel to Minecraft. And I've never been that big into the creative side of things, into the construction and architecture side of things. You know, for me, this building is probably the best looking thing I've ever made. Um, so, so yeah, I just, it for me, like I tend more towards the Factorio end of things, but Satisfactory, incredible job. Like A+, plus. there were some bugs on release. There still are some bugs, but at the end of the day, they're minor and I can't recommend this game enough. We did it. We saved the day. So what's next? Um, basically, what's next is I'm going to keep... I will finish my Blueprint series uh, with kind of the rest of the buildings. I will probably do blenders either tomorrow or the day after. I'll do... I'll probably do converters. I'll do the fuel generator Blueprint that I made. I don't know if I'll do things like drone ports. I feel like those are... I don't know. I, I could do drone ports, but we'll see. We'll see if people are still interested, but I'm mainly going to be turning my eye towards Factorio. So the beta access, which I do have access to the beta um, and the media embargo on Factorio is over on October 14th. So I'll be streaming Factorio from minute one. Uh, maybe not literally minute one, but basically minute one. And I'll be doing two 12 hour streams to celebrate the launch of it and so that'll be on october 14th and 15th so that'll be fun and yeah i'll be i'll be streaming basically a fresh playthrough so i'm not going to be playing a bunch of the beta before then so while a lot of other content creators will have already played you know either because they went to the land party or because they have the beta now they'll have already played on other planets i will not be doing that i will be experiencing it fresh for the first time um on the 14th yeah so i guess it's not quite celebrating the launch because it'll be a week before the launch that the media it's kind of the media release of the game is on the 14th so i'll be streaming then i think there's part of me that wanted to wait even till the full release of the game to play just to kind of be in solidarity with the little guys and everybody else but at the same time it just doesn't make sense as a content creator because literally every other content creator is going to be releasing their content that they've already recorded on the 14th. They're going to be doing their streams on the 14th. It just doesn't make sense for me to wait an entire week. Um, I, I think to kind of go with the flow, I'll, I'll start on the 14th as well. And then I'll probably start doing more like tips and tricks videos and stuff after I've played for a while. Obviously, I don't have tips and tricks yet because I haven't even played yet. So, so I'll start doing that stuff, you know, once I've started playing kind of like I did with Satisfactory. But, but yeah, big fan of Satisfactory, big fan of, uh, big fan of factory games in general. And I'm really excited for Factorio. Just two weeks, two weeks and we'll be there. And that basically means I have to sit here with self-control and not play Space Age for two weeks because I have beta access. I could be playing it right now. Um... The problem, the problem is I don't want to spoil myself on a bunch of new stuff and then not have fresh reactions on stream. So I'm really trying to keep myself like fresh reactions to everything, even stuff that we already knew about from FFFs. I'll still like be experiencing it for the first time. So I'll have to wait two weeks. Yeah, and totally. I know a lot of B Jonas. I totally, um, totally understand that. I think a lot of people are going to avoid watching. So. I'm actually not expecting viewership to be through the roof because I think a lot of people are going to want to wait to play themselves. Uh, but I know a lot of people will want to watch too. So I I do think um, it's worth, I think it's worth me playing through it 
rather than waiting about a month and then starting a playthrough, that would be the other option, would just be to play it myself, produce mostly tips and tricksy and blueprint type videos, and then not do an actual playthrough until after people have done their own. I think at the end of the day, that's a worse option. Just given that there will already be mods to play and stuff, I feel like it's best to do a playthrough, kind of when it's live, Probably by the time I'm done with my first playthrough, there will already be a mod I can play. I know Pyanodons is going to be ready to go pretty quick, at least for 2.0. So, so yeah, we're going to have plenty of content. And I will be doing the same. I think the structure I've been doing here for Satisfactory will work pretty well for Factorio. Um, because... You know, it seems like Twitch viewership and YouTube live viewership has been decent. So multi-streaming to both, but then also recording the episodes for future YouTubians, which you guys are still here, maybe. So that way there's kind of a numbered series of like one hour-ish episodes. I still think that's the best way to do it because a lot of people are scared off by the live stream VODs on YouTube and YouTube doesn't advertise them the same way. So it's just, it's a different world and I don't want people to have to sift through a 12 hour stream. Instead, there should be, you know, eight to 12 episodes that they can watch through. So I will be kind of doing the same format I've been doing with Satisfactory. But yeah, so for you future YouTubians, this is it for Satisfactory, apart from other blueprint videos I may do. Um, so if there's any comments you have on this playthrough, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're here live, I'll still be here for a few minutes, but uh, for you YouTubians, I guess this episode will come out on October 12th or 13th or something. Or no, is that right? I don't know. It'll be very close to when I start playing Factorio. So if you're watching this from the recorded YouTube end, Factorio is going to be right around the corner. Anyway. I'll uh, bid you all adieu. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me on this satisfactory journey. Hours played, 104 hours and 10 minutes at the final. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.